Good morning from Camarillo. Check out my parking spot last night. Freeway, parking spot. Freeway, parking spot. Morning, guys. Uh, like I said in yesterday's video, I got a... some kind of a letter given to me by the Live the Adventure crew. And I'm not really sure... Oh. <laughs> not really sure if I can share this with you. Um, but thank you guys. They gave me a tank of gas. Um, yo Jax, we wanted to give you a tank of gas to help you along your journey, and because we love you and don't want your adventure to stop yet, hold, help hold your life the... This is something card. I didn't read that. I think I think it's a bad word card. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't wait to show you the UK, Jim and Laura. Thank you guys so much, um, Jim and Laura. That was very kind of you to give me a tank of gas. Um, the cost of gas in California is over three dollars. I saw the highest part was like three three dollars and seventy five cents yesterday. So it was like absolutely crazy. So thank you guys. Thank you, live advent, live the adventure, for having me, Louis. JP, everyone else who came, it was absolutely incredible to be a part of something so special. And hopefully I shared some words of wisdom with people who want to be in my shoes, want to be in someone else's shoes, like, you know, fun for Louis and, and yeah, it was just like, man, such an amazing time. Um, all right, so I'm parked on the side of the road, like I said. Um, I need to, I'm, I'm behind on edits. There's been sporadically, like right now, people probably think I'm still out in, uh, the desert if you're watching the videos only. For my most current locations, you can always uh, check Instagram, maybe sometimes a story, Twitter, ask me, something like that. Um, I'm gonna edit and then get on the road. This is uh, the YouTube life. This is the real life. Just had an amazing conversation we'll for a, co a couple hours. Thank you again for lunch. Couple hours. Yeah, we, we were feel talking. Like a couple hours. <laughs> it was uh, so good. Sometimes <laughs> I just have to put the camera down and interact like a real human being. So there you go. after this, we're gonna get over to Venice Beach and uh, catch up with the guys and start editing. By the way, Lucas is uh, is like JP's fun for Louis to me. Um, just an outstanding person, incredible human being uh, who does. Occasionally watch the videos. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, hope to see you soon, Lucas. In the bus, on the road, maybe January, February, March, something like that. Change of plans. We got Aria. I'm not sure if you guys met Aria, but you know, Aria was at the event this past weekend. He's been editing a bunch of Louis videos. Super stand-up guy, um, and it looks like we might be planning on having him with me for like a week or so. But maybe, yeah, maybe. we will we will determine that tonight. We are gonna go edit because I'm severely behind. And he's got some work to do as well. So I don't know, where do you want to go? Uh, I think we're gonna drive down the road. Oh yes, to the other bus. Yes, yeah, to the big bus. To the big bus we go. Me and Aria are looking for a uh, Greyhound fare for him to get back. He's gonna change his flight and come with me to the Grand Canyon. But look who just drove by! It's BC and Taylor! Yee! <laughs> Wait, so, alright, repeat yourself. You guys were, how did we're you like, find me? We're lost in the middle of a nowhere Venice, and we're taking left and right to beat traffic because it's horrible, and we're cruising down this one back road, and we see your freaking bus. Jesse's bus! <laughs> and, <laughs> freak out. and no joke, I was just looking at your Instagram story. So good. Um, and what are you doing? Can we all like group hug? Yeah! Hey! We miss you so, so much. Funny. I know. I miss everybody already. It's nuts. That was so good. That was We're going to catch up right now. <laughs> this is so crazy, but cool yeah. at the same time. I got a professional artist, a friend of theirs, to paint all these walls as a, as a gift for free. Wow, that's amazing. He did it in 24 hours. Oh, 24 days. hours? My yeah. goodness. So, let me tell you guys a story about fate, I guess. So, I have a couple friends. They said, you got to meet these amazing guys. Uh, with this channel called Yes Theory. That was like three months ago. And then linking up with BC, he's like, oh, 
you should come over to my house sometime. I live at the Yesery House. And so here I am at the Yesery House, just hanging out. Welcome to the pad. <laughs> we are in the backyard. Well, thanks for having me. Of course, man. And uh, we might actually have something planned for the future. Oh, yes. I like the backyard. I see uh, uh, something very familiar right here. Yeah, a little turf. <laughs> a little astro turf, yeah. just like uh, Milan. You guys should got the neon sign over here. Seek discomfort. Discomfort is kind of like our We let you out of the dungeon again. Whoa. This is so cool. This is like the coolest backyard ever, man. We met an artist. Actually, we met him skinny dipping. Literally, like, we convinced a group of strangers to come skinny dipping with us. And one of the guys was uh, like a world renowned artist. Mm -hmm. We told him about the idea of wanting to remodel the whole place. Um, and he was like, I'll do it for free. And he just came and did it all. And that now is, it looks like this. This is, this is so cool. This is like the standard mixed with like a Venice Beach alley. Totally. Mixed with, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. But so you made the whole thing space themed. So everything mm. is related to space. I don't know just where you lie. Everybody around me wants a piece of love in my life. And I don't know just how long I can sing these songs. One day I know I'll be old, but I have your arms. And I said, break ties, but you never want to be alone. We're outside standing right in that December cold. You were young and I was old. Harvey Weinstein, that shit sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back on the bus. I know this is a little bit different from my typical travels, um, but we have a very special uh, musical performance happening here. <laughs> Not that special, but... Um, so, Aria. Yes. Uh, this is your favorite song that you played for your... Yeah, so this is a song that me and my... like I, When I was 16, I was making YouTube videos, um, and I really wanted to learn like an, an instrument, and this was kind of the perfect size it's far easier than a guitar to learn, mm. um, and like you can you can take it anywhere with you, right? Yep. Um, so I started making music, started making little songs just for like just for fun, and then me and my best friend, his name's Tristan, um, we made this song together, and it's about two girls that fall in love, and it's called a lady's love song. All right. So here we go. Fire, fire burn. Slowly learning how to love Hold her, hold her closer Pre-compose her with your love And you don't know why loving her hurts so to go, to go, in fact hang on, sorry, <laughs> fire, yeah I'm gonna go down again, alright, so yeah you can do it over, again. yeah is that right, yeah that's fine, <clears throat> fire, fire burning, slowly learning, Hold her closer, pre-compose her with your love, and you don't know why loving her hurts so, the war's in your head and it needs to go, to grow, be happy. Live your life, dear The skies were grey And now they're clear Your future With that someone So here's your Your lady's love song And you don't know Why loving her hurts so
Was that a bus? Yeah, UPS. Okay. I thought it was the other bus. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, sorry to stop, but I was like, I was like, I thought it was the happiest bus. <laughs> All right, this is how I prepare for uh, urban stealth camping. I'm on side streets of Venice Beach. Um, as you guys know, I try not to stay in the city, um, but uh, it was just more convenient than heading out to my Malibu spot. Um, I will be back on the road tomorrow, heading towards uh, Grand Canyon. I think we might stop by uh, Enigmatic Pneumatics uh, Van Build Party again, just to say hello, introduce, uh, crew to what's going on out there but plans are subject to change I do have other people with me so I have to take into consideration their wants their wishes uh, they're you know a guest so if they want to see something else on the way that's totally okay with me um, yeah it's gonna be fun I have never been to the actual Grand Canyon yeah I think I've only been to like Lake Powell as a kid I have seen Horseshoe Bend. Antelope Canyon is not the Grand Canyon. Um, so yeah, be fun to explore the area. And I know a really amazing camp spot um, on BLM land out there. So hopefully, if we're close by, we'll be staying there. Otherwise, it's just wide open out there. Um, tons, of, tons of boondocking spots. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.